if you are live broadcasting and you know a few hundred thousand people or a million people are watching you or listening to you at any one time. No, you've seen our numbers. It is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it is super difficult to listen to what someone is saying. Because you are thinking about the next question and not wanting to look like an idiot. And the mark of a really, really skillful interviewer is someone who has the confidence in a live, high-pressure interview to listen to what their interviewee is saying. And I see my job on Q&A, especially with a lot of politicians, as not just asking the questions, but seeking the answers. And that's a distinction that doesn't necessarily exist in other interview formats. Like, if someone doesn't answer my question, I want to be able to say, you haven't answered the question, I'm going to ask it again. And go back and back and back if I need to. And then if we get to a point where we're just going around in circles, I'll say, look, I've given you four opportunities, you haven't answered the question.